see how y'all doing today. Okay, we're looking at the GE profile with a F7 code. And the F7 code is this touchpad basically. And you can see there's no easy way to do this. What I did is heated it up. I actually sat in the sun for a couple of hours and I finished it off with the heat gun. And I separated this stuff. This is this is like high temperature whatever. This is almost like wind windshield uh, glue. The kind of glue you glue windshields in with. And so basically I was able to pull it back. Actually what I did is I stuck a screwdriver in between here and pulled this back. Finally got it off. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put that back on or not. Got to do something. And so anyway, you can see the logo here. They apparently were going to use some alternative methods, but they ended up with this thing here. And unfortunately, this thing here has a gap up here where the grease can leak in. And so once you get that piece off, I stuck this blade around here and cut this all off so I could get to it. Once you get to that, you can take this part off here. And even before I did this, I tried to heat it up. And we have we had uh, drips of grease coming out of it. And you can see here the gaps here, 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 possibly would leak grease in from the top. And so anyway... It's a, it's a problematic system. You see, you see this here? This is all grease that's leaked down from the top. So once I took that off, I was able to take this part off and clean this. Of course, I used this. You could probably use alcohol and 409. And I cleaned it up real good. And actually, the contacts are right in here. They're not here in front. These are just, this is just cosmetic. It tells you where to push the buttons. What I had to do is I had to get in here and separate this and clean all these contacts in between here. And once I cleaned all those contacts, then the F7 error code disappeared. So what I'll do is take a little bit of glue, glue this all back up in there. And I don't know if I'll be able to straighten this out. It's gone through some torquing right there I could probably straighten it out and then glue it back on what I'll probably do is I'll probably put a little bit more silicone or sealer around here so that grease doesn't drip in on the top again so these touch pads are problematic this thing here I almost didn't take apart because it was like looked like one solid piece but before I stripped it out I was going to give it one more try so I heated it up real good and then started pressing on this one edge and the one edge started to come loose. What I had to do is I had to stick a screwdriver in there to pry it and it started coming loose. And uh, so that's the way I... Okay, so I used my favorite goop here. This is the automotive goop. This is the kind of stuff that was underneath it. It's kind of weird goop. Anyway, uh, it's a regular work of art now, isn't it? Um, so I'll, I've glued this up with the goop all back together and it's not real straight but it's better than throwing it away to the whatever the recyclers I've tried to use this tape to straighten it out as much as I can until it dries and then once it dries I'll take off the tape or what do you think should I leave the tape on is that like a real work of art or what is this like a regular Rembrandt <laughs> I'm telling you so anyway, seems to be working. Got it turned on. You can see the glow inside. There's no error code now. So I think we're all good to go here. This here is rust. I could clean up with some Osfo. I could probably, there's not a lot you could do. There's actually another steel plate under this. This is a pretty heavy duty machine. 
There's another steel plate under that. I probably could take some, w, uh, some JB Weld and some steel wool and stuff those little cracks up. But I'm probably just going to OSFO it just to neutralize the rust and leave it at that. And so thanks for watching. So that's the way I fix this one. Thanks for watching. I sell a appliance repair course. Uh, if you're interested in that repair course, you can contact me, appliance.works at yahoo.com. I also give phone advice for $25. If you're interested in some phone coaching for $25, you can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time, 9 to 5. Thanks for watching.